Hi everyone, I wanted to welcome you all to ILA. Uh, my name is Kara Danner and I will be your facilitator for this program. I'm so very excited that we are close, almost getting started. Um, and so I wanted to come and give you an introductory video. It is very brief um, because I know your time is very valuable, but I did want to introduce myself and just tell you a little bit about uh, my experience with ILA um, as well as what you can expect from the program. So. Um, please, please, please get excited because the journey that you're about to start, and I'm not just saying this because I'm on the other side of things now, I truly believe it's going to benefit you more than you could ever imagine. Um, and so I'm hoping that this video will get you excited for the program. Um, I also, I can't wait to meet all of you um, in our first session on Zoom. Um, but without um, spending any more time on that, I do want us to go ahead and just get started here. So again, my name is Kara Danner and I will be your facilitator for ILA. So I first wanted um, to come to you and just first kind of tell you who I am. Um, I've been teaching biology at Wallace Community College in Dothan for over nine years now. Um, I did begin teaching at the high school level. So I taught high school for five years um, and then had the pleasure of being hired full time at Wallace. Um, I do, however, live in Enterprise with my husband and four children. Yes, you read that right. Um, I have four children ranging from three to 12. I have three boys and one girl. Um, and so I love coming to work. I love teaching, but I also love going home. Um, that also should give you some encouragement that if I can do this teaching double overloads year round <laughs> with four children, very active children, might I add, uh, driving 40 minutes to, to work every day. If I can do it, so can you. So I am thrilled to be a part of your ILA journey. I'm so very excited for you to begin this experience. And like I said earlier, you are going to benefit so, so, so much from this. I promise you that. I really do. Um, I believe 100% in what ILA stands for and what ILA means. And so that's kind of what I wanted to get to you. So ILA, how it changed my view on teaching. I was very fortunate when I came to Wallace, we were already using a lot of these ILA strategies. Um, I was familiar with them. I had been using them in my classroom. Some of them I love, some of them maybe are not my jam and that's okay. Um, but what, and so I was kind of, I was really, um, curious what ILA was going to do for me. I'll be real honest with you. Um, we I started ILA in the middle of COVID, um, so that also was interesting, but I'm telling you it came at the perfect time. ILA totally renewed my enthusiasm for improvement. Um, it came at the perfect time. It re-energized me to keep working in the classroom regardless of how many strategies I tried. Five years ago, it might not have worked, but I'm a different teacher than I was five years ago. Hopefully, hopefully I'm better. And so those are the kind of things that I brought back and they worked. And so that's the great thing about ILA is that it is not a one, it's just not a one way street. There are so many different avenues that you can get through ILA. There are so many different strategies and things to try. And the beautiful part of it is we do not want cookie cutter teachers. And I think that's the greatest thing. We really and truly have a little bit for everyone. And I believe that. Um, it also reminded me to be the motivator, um, to bring other people that maybe were not part of ILA, but watched me go through ILA, it encouraged me to bring them on this journey with me. And so that, I think, was part of the, I, I believe everything happens for a reason. And so I truly believe that that was one of the main reasons why I was put in ILA at the particular time that I was, was because I I am a natural, I am an enthusiast. I, um, I, I may get on people's nerves sometimes, but that's okay because I'd much rather be happy than the, than the opposite of that. And so I am the motivator. And I felt like sometimes in education, the longer we're in this business, we sometimes lose that. And so we need programs like ILA to boost us regardless of how much experience you have or how long you've been teaching. We can all learn from new strategies. And we also, we need our enthusiasm renewed. And so that's really what ILA did for me. Um, 
Now, one, another thing I want to touch on is obstacles. Okay, so this is a great program. It's not going to be perfect. I'll go ahead and tell you. You are going to have some obstacles. And one of the biggest things that I've experienced, both just with, with teaching for so long at a community college, being in ILA on the opposite side, some other, you know, uh, wonderful programs I've been through, I think resistance to change and fear of the unknown. That's the biggest obstacle, again, regardless of age of experience. However... One of the good things, the best things about ILA is that you are going through, you're on this journey with a group of people that will become a team for you. Um, and that's, you're not alone. And that's what I love so much about it is that you've got a group of people that are going through this. They're hearing the same thing. They're trying the same things in your classroom. You can share those experiences. And sometimes I'll be honest, it will provide you with a good laugh if nothing else. So I want you to know that ILA is a safe place for changes, adjustments, success, and reflections. Notice I didn't say failures, and that's for a reason, because some things you try are going to be wildly successful, and some things maybe not, but it's not a failure. It's a reflection. It's a time to look back and say, okay, that was not um, the most, the greatest thing I've ever done in the classroom, but how can I make it better? And that's the purpose in ILA. The only, and I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself a little bit, but um, the only thing that we don't want you to do is get negative and do nothing. Those are the only wrong answers in ILA. So my next thing is to stay positive. That's the number one requirement. It's really easy. Stay positive and respectful. Um, you're going to hear this acronym Q-tip a lot in ILA, and it stands for quit taking it personal. And that's it. I mean, it just doesn't get any more clear than that. We really, really, really want you to stay positive regardless of what happens. We are all not all going to agree, and that is uh, okay. That is, that's great. Can you imagine if we were all the same? It would be pretty boring. So I want you to don't take anything personal. I want you to be open, positive, and respectful, and learn from each other. That's why we're in this together. And if you do those things, I can promise you it will absolutely benefit you more than you could ever imagine. And, and I'm being serious that is, and again, we're coming from someone who none of this was new for me. I'd already had a lot of these strategies, and I still grew leaps and bounds through ILA and through this program. So as I said, one of the most important things we'll do is reflection. The only wrong answer in ILA is to do nothing. We all know some things are going to be amazing, and some are going to be an epic fail, and that's okay. That's, that's totally fine. Um, that's where reflection becomes critical. We, we know every strategy is not perfect for everyone. That's why we give you hundreds of them, literally. You're going to have so you're going to have a library of things to try, and we want you to try everything. We want you to reflect. We want you to share with each other so that we can all stay on this path for continuous improvement. Because that's what this is about, is to, is to constantly improve. I always, um, in ILA, I shared a lot with my, about my office suite. Um, I have an, I'm, my office is in a, a, a nice little, little nook in the building, a suite with five other instructors. And one of my favorite parts about that is that after class, we all kind of come back to our suite and we immediately start sharing and reflecting and laughing. And maybe some days we cry a little bit, but that's why we have a team to help us get through those. And if you don't have an office suite or you don't have your people at work to go to, ILA is the perfect built-in group. It's the team that you're going to grow close with. Um, and I even, I'll be honest with you, I even... Uh, became really close with people that work at Wallace that maybe are on a different satellite campus and I don't see every day and especially with COVID when we don't all come in big meetings this past year I got to know people that work at Wallace but maybe we're on the Sparks campus or maybe we're across campus and I don't ever get out of the science building because I teach all the time so that's the great part about it is the relationships that you're going to build and those relationships are going to go beyond ILA um, and so that's just a little bit about what I wanted you, mainly just to get you excited about this. Um, it is going to, as I've said so many times, just in this short few minutes that I've been talking to you guys, this is going to benefit you. Um, I think a lot of times in education, professional development maybe gets a bad reputation, but I'm here to tell you this is real. This is going to help you. I um, actually was professional development chair for our college for a couple of years, um, and, and a co-worker of mine, we, we just 
like to work together, work well together, and have some good ideas. And she's a lot of fun, and I'm always down where the fun's at. I, I like, you know, if I'm gonna have to be there, I want I want it to be fun, and I want it to be purposeful. And that's what I found in ILA is that it is real applicable strategies that literally, y'all, I'm not kidding. I would end a Zoom session at 12 because usually our sessions are around 8 to 12, and I would go into my 145 class, and I would take a strategy that we had talked about that morning straight to the classroom. That, guys, that to me is real professional development. That is useful, and that is something that we all need. I don't think I've ever met a teacher that's like, oh, no, I don't need anything new. We all know we need stuff new, especially if it works, and that's the beauty in this. So um, that's all I have for you. As I said, I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. Please, please, please know that I'm here for you. Please reach out. If you ever have any question, I'm here. All of my contact information will be made available to you. Um, I promise I don't mind at all. That's my, that's my purpose in doing this, and this is why I wanted to do ILA as a facilitator this time, is to help other people get through it. Um, there is no dumb question. I, I tell my students that, and I'm going to tell you that as well. The only dumb question is the one you don't ask. So, Again, welcome to ILA. I'm so excited for this journey, and I cannot wait to see all of you on the Zoom first session. And as always, if you ever need anything, please reach out. I hope you guys have a great day.